Okay, so that song that I played was called uh, Four on Six, the West Montgomery song. Really fun to play. The chords go... That's the chords to the whole song. And so when you're soloing, you got four bars on a G minor. Now, then it goes to C minor. And then to B flat minor. And then to A minor. And E flat minor. And now we're into the, back to the G. And now to B flat, D7, and then to G. So what's cool is uh, if you can kind of uh, in your lines use, even though this is four bars of G minor, we're going to put a dominant chord to take us to the C minor. So you might go... Hear it? And then the C minor. And then there you have it. You guys, C minor, you might go to F dominant then. B flat. And then E. A minor. D, D7. E flat minor to A flat 13. I like just sometimes just think of a D7. And there's your soloing. And then uh, to bring us back to the F minor, or the G minor, I played this F sharp diminished. And that F sharp diminished also takes us to B flat. So that F sharp diminished is an important little, little arpeggio in soloing with that song. So Wes, what do you think of this guitar? Uh, it's cool. Yeah. This is a 1967, I think. It's a 125C. Okay, so this is a laminate sides and top and back with a um, rosewood fretboard and a mahogany neck. Now, what's so different about this? Then a 175, the binding. That's it? <laughs> it doesn't have binding on the neck? Yeah, I, I, I think that's it. So this guitar, I, I, this, I, I've liked these. They didn't make very many of these. It's, it's a rare one. So um, on this 125, usually there are thin ones. Um, so, but then you can find them fat, but without a cutaway. But also on this, this is a one and five eighths nut, so it's tighter here. So, you know, you know, it's tighter in, in there, which I don't care. It makes it tighter up here too, which is nice. So, you know, a lot of guys will say, "Oh, I don't like those thin nuts." Well, don't be playing down here. Why are you even playing down here? You know, who plays down here? So, not a jazz guy. Well, he might a little bit, you know, but not much. He doesn't live down there like folk guy. So, anyway, uh, that's that's the deal on this guitar. This was had a P90 in it, and now it's got a Gibson 57. It's got a newer tailpiece, obviously. Newer... Uh, Tuner's new pick guard. And it's, hey, Wes, try to get in tight on this guitar because I want you to kind of, can you see the back of this neck and stuff? This is one of those guitars that was completely beat to crap. Okay, you can see where all the all this is. And what they did is they just shot lacquer over it. So it's kind of all lacquered up. But, uh, so it's, can you see that? 
<laughs> it's kind of a trip. So anyway, it's 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 not a bad idea to do that to a guitar. You know, you you get a guitar. Have you ever seen the old ones? You know, and the the neck is just all chewed up. Well, just shoot it all with lacquer. Sound it down a little bit. Shoot it all with that lacquer again. You got a new guitar. But this bridge is original, and that's why it's got kind of a a duller sound. Um, but anyway, uh, there it is. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.